Welcome to Engineering Chemistry class. Dear students, in this module, we are going to learn boiler trouble scales and sludge formation. As I told in the previous videos, take paper and pen before listening the class for the reflections part. The outline of this module is boiler, boiler troubles, scale, sludges, and summary. Let me start with the reflection spot. Guys, pause this video for 30 seconds. Think about a boiler and write, write down the points, whatever you know about boiler. Res and then resume the video. Yes, guys, you are correct. The boiler is used to heat water to generate steam. Steam produced in a boiler can be used for a number of purposes like sterilization, drying, power generation, and uh, humidification also. See, uh, in the first figure, you see in a vessel, the water is boiling to produce steam. So water and steam are great heat carriers, but are not damaging our environment. The boiling point of water at atmospheric pressure is 100 degrees Celsius. So this heat will warm up the surroundings mm. and are used to cook food. So we use it uh, our day-to-day -day activities. So by pressurizing the boiler system, that is in a pressure cooker, if we give an air tight, we can increase the boiling point, which is used to cook the food very fast. So this is how pressure cooker works. So how does this pressure cooker compare with the industrial boilers? Let me tell. Uh, in industrial boilers, uh, they can cope up with pressures uh, much higher than the pressure cooker. The boilers are made by welding together number of thick steel plates allowing very high pressures. It must cope up with high, very high pressure. Even if any failure occurs, it will result in forces close to an exploding bomb. Uh, in industries, steam boilers generate steel in order steam uh, steam boilers generate steam in order to power turbines for power generation. Boiler passes the steam through the blades. The force turns the blades and make the turbine to accelerate. So what are boiler troubles? Before seeing the boiler troubles, let me tell what is boiler feed water. That is the water used in the boiler for the production of steam is nothing but boiler feed water. And such water should be free from hardness causing substances caustic alkali and dissolved gases like oxygen, carbon dioxide, nitrogen, etc., turbidity, oil. What are boiler troubles? So when the water in the boiler is continuously evaporated to generate steam, the concentration of dissolved salts will increase progressively, causing very bad effects to the boiler or called boiler troubles. What are the major boiler troubles? They are scale and sludge formation, Caustic embrittlement, boiler corrosion, priming and foaming. What are sludges? They are loose and slimy precipitate formed in the boiler. So the substances like magnesium carbonate, magnesium chloride, magnesium sulfate, calcium chloride, etc. have greater solubility in hot water than in the cold water. Usually sludges can be formed at the colder portions of the boiler. What are the disadvantages of sludges? They are poor conductor of heat, which tends to waste a portion of heat generated in the boiler. So if the sludges are formed along with the scales, then sludges get entrapped in the later and both scales and sludges get deposited at scales. Sludge formation disturbs the working efficiency of the boiler as it settles in the poor water circulation. So there by causing even choking of the pipes. How can we prevent sludges? It can be prevented by using well softened water and by using blowdown operation. What is blowdown operation? That is withdraw a portion of concentrated water by replacing it with a fresh water. What are scales? Scales are hard and sticky precipitate. They, for, they uh, formed a, a sticky precipitate. They are firmly attached to the side walls of the boiler. 
scale forming substances or calcium sulfate calcium bicarbonate magnesium salts and even presence of silica what are the reasons for the formation of scale first point is decomposition of calcium bicarbonate see calcium bicarbonates present in the dissolved salt in boiler feed water decomposes into insoluble calcium carbonate and deposit as loose scale so it causes problems in low pressure boilers at low temperature as they are insoluble they are insoluble at high temperature in high pressure boilers so it's creating some problems in the boiler hydrolysis of magnesium salts magnesium salts like magnesium chloride undergoes hydrolysis to give soft scale called magnesium hydroxide and decomposition of calcium sulfate is also a reason uh, because the solubility of calcium sulfate in water decreases with increase in temperature that is calcium sulfate is soluble in cold water but completely insoluble in superheated water calcium sulfate gets entrapped as hard scale on the heated portions of the boiler this is the main cause of scales in high pressure boilers and uh, fourth point is presence of presence of silica uh, silica presents in small quantities deposit as calcium silicate or magnesium silicate these deposits stick very firmly and are very difficult to remove the important sources of silica in water is the sand filter what are the disadvantages of scale yes obviously it waste the fuel consumption as the thickness of the scale increases the percentage of fuel also increases and uh, it also lowers the boiler safety due to overheating of boiler the material becomes soft and results in thinning of the material therefore the safety of uh, the boiler decreases and decrease in the efficiency uh, scales present in the tubes and pipes cause choking and decrease the boiling boiler efficiency uh, danger of explosion uh, due to scale formation uneven temperature takes place which leads to the uh, cracks in the scales uh, then uh, water in the cracks get more uh, heated and develops more steam sudden increase in steam leads to explosion of the boiler how can we remove scales by using scrapping scrapers or wire brush or piece of wood so this can be done at the earlier stage then thermal shocks so it can be done by increasing or decreasing the temperature if the scales are loosely adhering then we can go for blow down operation if it is hard and adhere adhere firmly then chemical treatment is a way to remove scales for example calcium carbonate scales are removed or or dissolved by using 5 to 10 percentage of hcl whereas calcium salt sol calcium sulfate scales can be dissolved by adding edta uh, where they form soluble complexes and let's uh, move on to the summary uh, comparison between sludges and scale scales are hard forming substances they stick firmly to the inner surface of the boiler and are very difficult to remove whereas sludges are soft loose and slimy precipitate they form non adherent deposit and can be easily removed and sludges forming substances are calcium chloride magnesium chloride magnesium sulfate magnesium carbonate and they are formed at comparatively colder portions of the boiler whereas scale forming substances are calcium sulfate magnesium hydroxide calcium silicates etc but they are formed at the heated portions of the boiler uh, sludges decrease the efficiency of boiler but are less dangerous whereas scale decrease efficiency of boiler and chances of explosion are also there they can be removed by they cannot be removed by blow down operation whereas sludges can be removed by blow down operation